Had some very strong winds, especially as that line entered our western counties. It weakened as it pushed through the Miami Valley, but you may be driving around this morning and notice some limbs down here and there uh, from the storms. Uh, right now, we just have a few that are lingering in our extreme southeastern viewing area, so down towards Clinton County, uh, southeastern Warren County, and uh, southeastern Greene County. But this is, again, significantly weaker than when it worked in. We did have uh, several warnings as the line came through, but right now there are no warnings out there. Still a heavy downpour heading towards the Wilmington area, uh, but uh, nothing severe at this time. The wider view shows the entire complex as it weakened, working through the Miami Valley. Now we're left with very little. We've got some clouds out there. It's very humid. There's another batch of some weakening showers to the west. That may impact our northern counties as we head through the next several hours. Otherwise, there's another chance for thunderstorms as we head into this afternoon. And the best shot is going to be in areas to the south and to the east of Dayton. You can see it here on our uh, Severe Storm Prediction Center, uh, Severe Outlook, the elevated outlook. We may see some stronger thunderstorms southeastern Clark County through Greene County, Warren and Clinton County. So that would be the highlighted area and then points east. So really into central and eastern Ohio has a good shot at seeing some stronger winds or even some hail and in any storm that forms later this afternoon. Right now it's 67 degrees, very humid. Around the lunch hour we expect to be climbing up into the lower 80s. Some breaks in the clouds at times today, but more showers and thunderstorms will fire up. We'll see highs near 88 degrees. We have an east wind currently at 7. Winds have been variable this morning as those thunderstorms have kind of worked over the atmosphere. Our dew point is still sitting high at 64 degrees and 24 hour rainfall in Dayton, just about a tenth of an inch currently. Our other area temperatures are in the 60s in most spots. Still some 70s hanging in the extreme southeast, but they'll drop to 75 Xenia, Wilmington. 67 in the Dayton area, 65 up towards Piqua, and 66 in Wapakoneta. Slow moving cold front to the west that will slowly work into the area today. It's still hanging around tomorrow, so we'll keep that slight chance of a spotty shower thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. But the big thing is going to be cooler and less humid air is going to build in behind that front. Here's a look at future track. We're starting off at 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's when we may start to see some new development. And again, especially in our southern and eastern counties, if you live up towards Piqua, Wapakoneta, Salina, you may not get any additional rainfall this afternoon after morning rain. Uh, but down to the south and east is where we may see some of that fire up. 6 o'clock still could be something lingering southeast, but the trend will be to dry out. Maybe a lingering isolated shower through the overnight. Night hours. Here's 3 a.m. Couldn't rule it out. But then tomorrow morning, it looks like we'll start off dry before a few more develop in the afternoon. 88, hot and humid today. Chance of that mid to late day shower or thunderstorm. Tonight's low 67, spotty shower storm still possible. And then even a few linger tomorrow, but we'll be turning less humid as the front comes through. With the wind shift, it won't be quite as hot with a high of 83. Here's your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. Great weather Thursday, 77, looks dry for fireworks Thursday night. Friday for the 4th looks great, 78 sunshine, and then over the weekend we'll warm back into the 80s.